everyone. I'm Aliza Sherman. I'm the CEO of Elementa. I'm going to be doing something totally different this time. First of all, it's live reviews of CBD products, something I have not done ever before, at least not <clears throat> this many products, ah! <laughs> like literally 10 different products. So that's something new. The other thing I'm doing new right now, and I'm having a little bit of trouble deciding which camera to look at. <laughs> I have two cameras in front of me, but they're unfortunately at different heights at the moment. I don't have all of my equipment with me here. So my Zoom camera is there, live on Zoom. My Instagram live camera is there. So if I'm not looking directly at you at any given moment, my apologies. It is simply that my cameras are at two different places. I also have two different mics, if anyone has noticed, to hopefully make sure, hi everyone, to make sure that you can hear me clearly because I have a lot of products to go over. Now, first, I just wanna say that I am doing these sessions partly for my own sanity, to keep busy and to feel like I'm doing something constructive, but also because I just, I love being of service. I love helping people. I love teaching. I love sharing information. Uh, what you need to know about me is this. I am a journalist. I'm a writer. I've written 12 books. And so I do a whole lot of research when I'm doing these kinds of uh, sessions. I prepare. <laughs> so today I have five pages of all kinds of information about these products. Um, what I want you to also know is that I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I don't even play one on TV. I am just here as a human being who wants to feel better. I have a real need uh, to discover things and then take really complex information, boil it down to something that makes sense to more people. And now I'm going to start reviewing some CBD topical products and share information with you that I've learned over the last couple of years from scientists, from doctors, in particular from Dr. June Chin, who is my co-author on a book called Cannabis and CBD for Health and Wellness. So I take all of this information in and I try to share it accurately which is also why I have all these notes written up. So to begin, there's no particular order that I'm going to be reviewing these other than the order I have on the paper now. These are all products that I have received for free to review them. And by the way, I review them on our website, elementa.com, E-L-L-E-M-E-N-T-A.com, but we are not paid to review products. In fact, I've always been adamant we will never take money for a product review, uh, but we do get the products for free to review them. We also uh, do not review products that we absolutely do not like and would not use ourselves. And then we're honest about them. Even the products we really, really love, we'll be very honest if there's something we don't like. Uh, and then the products that we're just sort of meh about, but we think it could be helpful for someone, we're just going to tell you those details uh, and let you decide for yourself. So please consider these reviews as just that. It's my personal experience, the things that I personally like, but it's also the things that I'm concerned about or interested in, such as ingredients, such as the uh, concentration of CBD or where the CBD is derived from, or if there are, um, excuse me, COAs, certificates of analysis, that some CBD companies pay the extra money and go the extra mile to get third-party ver verification of their products. Um, so I'll talk about all that as well. So I have topicals, meaning things that you put on your skin, and some of them may absorb more deeply than others, depending on the ingredients that are included. I'll be going over a lot of ingredients, which is also why I have written notes, because I want to make sure I'm as accurate as possible. One thing I have are, are a selection of creams, balms, salves, body butters, and here's a definition. Body butters and balms are made using a base ingredient of natural butters 
and herbal and or vegetable, nut, and seed oils. So a salve uses herbal oils and beeswax. Now, this is something I didn't even know until I started doing the research. Body balms, butters, and salves do not contain water. And so they're called anhydrous formulations. Who knew? So I have a, a variety. So I've got some salves, I've got some balms, I've got creams and I've got lotions, um, sticks as well, uh, like an applicator stick. So let's begin. Our first product is, this is Bluebird Hemp Silk from Bluebird Botanicals. It is 700 plus milligrams per tube I'm assuming the 700 plus is because each batch uh, for, for some of these products is um, going to vary a little in terms of the amount of CBD. That's why these COAs or certificates of analysis are so important because it helps to verify how much CBD is actually in a product. Also, when you look at ingredients, you'll see the order that the ingredients come in. And that typically means your first few ingredients, uh, that's the most abundant ingredient. And as you taper off toward the end, it's less and less uh, amounts of that ingredient. That's my understanding. So to read you some of the ingredients, to give you an idea, now this has deionized water first, which means it's not a body balm, butter, or sab. In fact, it calls itself a beautifying lotion. And this one has, em so it's aqua, deionized water, emulsifying wax hemp blend. And the hemp blend is cannabis sativa hemp seed oil. Okay, so cannabis sativa seed oil, hemp seed oil, and cannabis sativa hemp extract. So let me explain a tiny bit about the difference between hemp seed oil and hemp extract. So the seeds of the hemp plant <clears throat> do not have CBD. They do have omegas and other antioxidants, minerals. They're rich in different chemical compounds that could be beneficial to your skin. But, and you can also eat hemp seeds, by the way, but they don't have CBD. The extract has the CBD. So this has both, which is, it makes sense. It's a skincare product. Uh, it's a lotion. It's got a little bit of a cream, or like an ivory color to it. It has a very plant smell to it. Okay, I'm going to smell all these products. And the reason I smell these products is because to me, smell is really uh, an important part of the experience of a topical some are unscented, some of you are allergic to scent, that makes sense. <laughs> and you would look for a fragrance free. This one, it, it smells natural, it smells plant-ish. Uh, it has coconut oil, rosemary oil, carrot oil, jojoba oil, lavender oil, geranium oil. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what that smell is that I smell. It's probably a little bit of hemp and it's probably, I actually smell the geranium a lot more. Uh, it's nice, it's pleasant, a very pleasant smell. Uh, rosemary always sends me, I love the smell of rosemary. I'm not smelling that as much. So this one, it says 700 plus milligrams in the whole bottle. Now remember, whenever it says the, the, the uh, amount of milligrams of CBD, it's the concentration in the whole container so when you put on some, depending on the amount, you get obviously a fraction of that. Uh, this one, I love the feel of it. I love lotions. I love hand lotions. I'm obsessed. I have hand lotion in every room. And this one, even though it says 700, which I would typically think is pain relief. I mean, I, I, I go for 300 milligrams or more in a container in a small container for the concentration, 500 milligrams or more when I'm thinking pain relief. So I didn't really sense that this was pain relief as much as softening, skin softening. It has a good feel to it. Uh, the other thing about it that I do like is since I'm getting arthritis in my fingers, I'm thinking that it could be helpful uh, by using it on my hands. 
I'm also using it on uh, my feet. So for those of you who are just coming in right now, this is the Bluebird Hemp Silk. And I've been using it on hands and feet. And if you think about it, our feet can be very weary and, and hurt. Uh, there could be some aches and pains and muscles and bone. As, as you get to bone, it's a lot harder for these topicals to really get in there. But if a bone is really close to the surface, uh, there's some inflammation there. CBD does help reduce inflammation. It often depends on what else is in the topical product to know whether or not it can absorb much more deeply into your skin. Uh, chances are it's not going to break the blood brain barrier, but it can produce some relief to inflammation either on the surface or right under the surface. It does provide anti-inflammatory benefits. I'm just talking about CBD in general uh, to muscles as well, to muscle tissue. So I, I'm not sure as about this as a pain reliever per se, but I like it a lot as a cream. It does feel really nice. Uh, let's see if I had anything else. Completely free from artificial colors and fragrances, parabens, phthalates, is that how we pronounce that word? And sulfates. So that sounds good. I like to hear that. I like to see that. Again, I do read the instructions and if I, uh, the ingredients, and if I can't pronounce the ingredients, then I get a little bit wary about something. That's not to say it's bad, but it's just a personal preference of mine. So I will be reading some of these ingredients to you and you can make your decisions about if you like it or not. Um, so Vital Leaf is my next one. Oh my God, I love it. All right, this is a personal favorite of mine. This is Vital Leafs CBD Body Balm, 300 milligrams in this container. All right, full disclosure, Vital Leaf did sponsor uh, our book tour last year. They're led by an amazing woman, Christina Sasser. Uh, the company has great ethos and just just read their website, it's fantastic. The ingredients are beautiful. And, okay, back to smelling. Oh my gosh, it smells like chocolate because it's the cacao. Um, it smells delicious. Basically, they have some of the most delicious CBD products anywhere. And I'm not saying that lightly. And I have tried many products. As you can see, we're gonna be reviewing 10 of them. This is, this is a delicious, all right. So in terms of, it's, it's a little bit of, I guess, waxier, but it melts right away so it can absorb well. I have used it for pain relief. Uh, that would be mostly on my neck because I have arthritis in my neck, particularly on the right side. And it is effective. Um, this, I started using this early on and I had much, much more severe pain. So I can't say that it completely took away the pain, but I can say that it was soothing. Everything about their products are soothing. They also have, I'm gonna write a review about the most delicious CBD edibles out there. They have incredible CBD chocolate. And even their drops, their oil drops infused with CBD, delicious. They've got incredible ingredients. Let me read you the ingredients. Organic fair trade raw cacao butter, organic shea butter. I think I'm also sensing the, the shea butter in the smell. Organic coconut oil, sweet almond oil, organic jojoba oil, candelilla wax, organic arnica extract in olive oil. Arnica, for anyone who doesn't know, it's homeopathy, homeopathic remedy for pain, anti-inflammation, uh, very effective. So sometimes when I see Arnica in a CBD product, I do wonder, is it the Arnica that's helping, which I know works, or is it the CBD that's helping? Well, I'm happy that it helps. Let's see, what else do we have? We've got uh, phytocannabinoid rich full spectrum hemp extracts. For anyone who is wondering about an isolate versus full spectrum or broad spectrum, if you speak to a cannabis physician, they're going to tell you full spectrum or broad spectrum, meaning from the whole plant with either THC, some THC or the THC removed, but all the other cannabinoids in place. 
the chemical compounds in cannabis that are sort of the medicinal compounds. That the physician will tell you, you will get more therapeutic value out of full or broad spectrum. The more cannabinoids and even terpenes and even flavonoids that you have in place, as close as to the natural plant as possible, you're, you're just gonna have more therapeutic value. Not to say isolate doesn't work and doesn't have a place, but just understand the difference. So full spectrum, organic essential oils of neroli, grapefruit, cardamom, and pettigrain. So I did look up a few of these. Pettigrain is an essential oil derived from the bitter orange tree. Candelilla wax is a suitable vegan, <laughs> vegan alternative to beeswax. And neroli oil is an essential oil extracted from the flowers of the bitter orange tree. So there is a lot of orange. I'm not exactly smelling all of that orange. Uh, people who know anything about citrus fruit and terpenes, limonene is often a terpene found in citrus fruits. So I would wonder if the citrus oil might have some of that. And limonene is one of those additives uh, that can help something absorb more deeply. So terpenes can help your topical absorb more deeply. Also other additives like oleic acid. Um, it's very often used in skincare products and oleic acid is for absorption, help, helps to increase absorption. So that is Vital Leaf CBD Body Balm, 300 milligrams, yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, <laughs> here's another. Circle Labs. It's their CBD pain and tension balm. It's a little bit harder to read their labels. The type is very tiny and I have, you know, failing eyesight. <laughs> uh, but it is Yowza, amazing smell. In fact, it is such a good smell and it really, really speaks to me. So if anyone knows anything about aromatherapy, often the smells that are representing the essential oils that are good for you will invoke sort of this automatic physiological response. So I get that from this. And I asked the, whoo, I asked the uh, owner of the company, the, the CEO of the company, what is that smell? Because I thought it might be lemon verbena. It was very lemony, very citrusy. It's lemongrass. And it is amazing, at least to me. So if you don't like lemongrass, you're not going to enjoy the smell of this. But here we go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I love that smell. We've got 500 milligrams in this little jar. So that means a nice concentration. Now the ingredients aren't listed on the website or at least I couldn't find them. So I had to take a magnifying glass to the label and uh, type it all out. Single strain hemp flour as the first ingredient. So I mentioned before, usually the first three ingredients are the sort of most important, most abundant. So first ingredient. Organic extra virgin olive oil, organic jojoba oil, organic beeswax, frankincense, mm. cold pressed essential oils, including, and I put this part, including lemongrass, because that's what I was told. And I looked up lemongrass to see, why is this so appealing to me? It says lemongrass contains terpenes such as limonene for absorption and linalool. And limonene also can be uplifting. So that's interesting too. Linalool is also found in lavender. Lavender is my absolute favorite scent, the one that speaks to me the most. I think it's lavender, lemon grass, or lemon verbena, that lemony citrusy. I also really like yulang yulang. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. And I let's see what else. Uh, what else do I like? My other favorite scent, rosemary. Okay. <clears throat> oh, by the way. So this one, I find it to be very effective on pain. And yeah, really effective on pain. So this is the one that I have been using whenever my arthritis acts up. And again, I have arthritis on the right side of my neck. I often have very achy shoulders. I'm starting to get arthritis in my hips as well. So when I'm talking about pain, I'm talking about arthritis pain. And I'm finding that this is very helpful to me. Uh, so one of my favorites, 
I do like the way that smells. Okay, next up. High Desert Pure. All right, let's get these to show you. Here's what I've got. High Desert Pure. I'm going for two different cameras here. There we go. High Desert Pure is a 500 milligram CBD lotion in the light tropic scent and a 500 milligram CBD relief, relief stick in cocoa honey spice. All right. This is what we've got. Again, smell. I start with that because it is something that helps with the overall experience of a topical product. So, High Desert Pure, it kind of is greenish, which for a moment was a bit off putting, but then again, this is plant medicine, pure plant. So then I didn't really mind it as much, but you know, we're just so used to the over to the counter stuff that is bleached out, that's white. You know, white is pure, but this is actually green ish. It's got a, it has a light tropical scent. Okay. I should have gotten a paper towel or something because I'm here. Let me wipe it on my arms. <laughs> um, yeah, it's sort of a fruity smell to it. It's got a great te texture. I like this texture. I also love these pump uh, pump bottles. I love that as a dispenser. It it is something I, I feel like it's cleaner than putting my finger into something all the time. Um, I just like the way it feels. My kids would say it's satisfying. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's see what we've got. In terms of ingredients, they highlight safflower and they say it's a healthful source of fatty acids and soothes dry skin. Arnica, we've talked about that, is a wild daisy thought to have anti-bruising. Yes, anti-bruising and anti-inflammatory properties. Vitamin B3, and vitamin B5, uh, anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, mitigates itching. So the ingredients, it does have water, therefore it's not a balm or a salve, it's a lotion. And safflower oil, emulsifying wax, shea butter, mango butter. All right, so here's an ingredient I had to look it up. Dragon's blood sap. Yes, okay. I, after watching Game of Thrones, the first thing that comes to mind when I hear dragon's blood is, you know, a dragon. <laughs> it is from a tree in South America said to have anti-inflammatory properties. Cool. Anti-inflammatory, always helpful. Germal Plus is another ingredient, which is a preservative. Silk peptides. That was interesting. I didn't see anything else with silk peptides that I reviewed. It gives things a silky feeling. And yes, it does have a silky feeling. The thing I like about a relief stick is the ease of application, particularly for something like on my neck, especially harder to reach areas. Uh, and also it's not as wet or sticky or greasy as something else might be. It's just a really easy applicator. Now this one is the honey spice and has a little light spice to it. So both of these products are really lovely. And I would say with 500 milligrams, uh, this is a much larger container than this. So this one would be much more concentrated, the stick. Uh, but when I see 500 milligrams, I often think, oh, okay. It's got more CBD, so can be more effective. Uh, I have used these on my feet as well. By the way, so one of the other things is your surface irritation on your skin or the cracking skin, super dry skin, eczema, psoriasis, et cetera. Sometimes these, especially a lotion with CBD is going to be much more beneficial for something on the surface of your skin. So I do like them and I have used them several times. I sometimes alternate a couple of my favorites. So I'm not using the same one every single time, but this is High Desert Pure. Okay, next on the list. Stratos. All right, see, I do have two cameras, so I have to kind of go back and forth. CBD. It's called Stratos CBD, 500 milligrams, full spectrum CBD infused 
topical salve. All right, this is including CBD oil from hemp, coconut oil, beeswax, shea butter, pharmaceutical grade petrolatum, petrolatum, peppermint oil, arnica oil, helichrysum oil, clove oil, hyssop oil, dimethyl isor, okay, it's a plant-based compound, but I can't pronounce it. They talk about it being full spectrum extract, packed with cannabinoids, terpenes, flavonoids, fatty acids, chemical-free carbon dioxide extraction for maximum purity and quality. It's a good product in terms of effectiveness. So I would say out of the most effective pain reliever for the arthritis in my neck, which is obviously a very specific kind of pain in a very specific area, Circle Labs and the Strat this Stratos are the ones that are my absolute go-to for pain relief. 500 milligrams. It's got Arnica as well, the homeopathic extract, uh, the homeopathic remedy. Heliochrysum is a plant with anti-inflammatory properties. Now, this one contains petrolatum. And I would say... I typically don't use any petroleum products or mineral oils or anything like that on my skin. Maybe I'm more sensitive to it about products on my face. And since I'm not putting this on my face, I'm putting this on my neck. I'm not as concerned about it. Oh, and hyssop oil relieves spasms and can be antiseptic. So I actually do like this product a lot. And the smell... Hints of peppermint. I sort of now feel like I'm reviewing wine or something <laughs> or strains of cannabis, but I'm not. Um, again, smell is really important. And when you think of pain relief, when you think of topicals, uh, when you think of essential oils, when you think of that experience, the smell really is the beginning of that experience. And that smell can relax you. Um, Think of all those pain relief products that we used to use, like Bengay. Whoa, that was an intense, abrasive kind of smell. And it was masking the pain much more than it was <clears throat> providing any healing. So I do like CBD topicals because I do feel that there is some medicinal value to them. So this is, again, the Stratos CBD 500 milligrams. Next up. A very different product that I've had for a while, the Dr. Kirkland uh, line of products. They've got a pain relief, they've got a sleep cream, which I always found interesting, but they tell you to massage it on your temples at night. And then they have this one, which is their, uh, what do they call it? Natural skin cream. So when I hear natural skin cream, I think really much more moisturizer than pain relief. Uh, it has per two milliliter dose, four milligrams of CBD. The entire tube is 120 milligrams. Now, here's what they have on their website. Nanoparticulate extracts provide naturally occurring compounds that combine to our body's endocannabinoid system receptors, CB2, and a lesser known, uh, lesser, yeah, lesser known receptor, TRPV1. Okay, USA grown, full spectrum hemp. Now, the thing about this one, so it starts with aqua water, which means it's a lotion. And then it's got a lot of ingredients that um, I can't totally pronounce or, or recognize, so I had to look everything up. Cetyl alcohol, isopropyl myristate, stearic acid, copernicia, um, Anyway, that one, that one is carnauba wax. Then there's got castor oil, castor bean. So here's a few others. Pheno, phenoxethanol, which is a preservative in cosmetics and skincare products. E ethyl hexylglycerin, a relatively new chemical on the market that was in 2009. Many companies use it instead of parabens, an emollient and a humectant in skincare and an antimicrobial for the other ingredients in the skincare product. Aminomethylpropanol. It's used as a pH adjuster. 
and it's often used in hair color and hair straightening products, but it just basically holds the pH. So again, knowing the ingredients, being able to pronounce the ingredients is my personal preference for determining what products I consume and what products I use on my body. But I did find this to be a really nice lotion. Um, the texture of a lotion, the smell of the lotions or other things, there's, there is that sort of aesthetic and that experience. Yeah, it's got a very, very mild, I don't even think it has, a, I think it's fragrance free actually. <laughs> I think I'm smelling all the other stuff. So if fragrance is an issue for you, a fragrance free product would be really good. So again, Dr. Kirkland, the natural, oops, there we go. Dr. Kirkland natural skincare cream. Okay, next up, boy, I'm getting super moisturized here. <laughs> Pearl CBD. All right. Got two of their products. Pearl CBD lotion, Pearl CBD cream. Okay. Both have a thousand milligrams in the containers. So I see a thousand milligrams, and I rarely see a thousand milligrams on sort of your typical CBD topical. So that caught my eye for sure. And on the website, they compare prices, and the price was incredibly reasonable compared to a lot of other products. So from the standpoint of having a lot of CBD, there's a plus there for sure. Full spectrum, absolutely a plus. This one's more of a daily body moisturizer, which is interesting because I wouldn't consider an 1,000 milligram product as being a sort of a daily moisturizer. It has aloe. Uh, but then again, it can't hurt uh, to have extra CBD on your skin. Um, obviously, it, so much about topicals depends on not just how much CBD is in there, but also what else is in there. Always be careful and read those ingredients because you might see CBD and think, oh my gosh, it's going to be great for me. And then it has other ingredients that you might be allergic to. So be really careful on that. All right, let me read some ingredients uh, from this product, the CBD Pearl. By the way, okay, one little tiny complaint which has nothing to do with topicals. I visited their website once and they, uh, I, they, they pay for advertising, the retargeting kind of advertising. And for the last week, every single website I go to and every email I get that has Google ads <laughs> is showing me their ad. Honestly, that wouldn't convince me to buy it. <laughs> It just is really weird that every single website I go to, it's just ads from them. Ooh. <laughs> um, Non-GMO, pharma grade, FDA lab. These are some of the things they put on their website, uh, which is supposed to engender a feeling of trust. Paraben and sulfate free. I do like that. So main ingredients, CBD from full spectrum, number one ingredient, great, aloe vera. I totally know aloe vera. I think it's good for skin. I mean, I find that it's helpful for me. Other ingredients, glycerin, lexamule. It's a self-emulsifying glycerol monosterate. Uh, okay, so uh, an emulsifier stabilizes lotions and things uh, for skincare products. EGMS stands for ethylene glycol monosterate. It's a vegetable derived stearic acid. And you know what it does? It does pearlizing. It creates that pearlized look. And I think to myself, well, that is kind of a, it's a neat gimmick, if you will, but I would be okay if it didn't have pearlizing because that to me is more of a bell and a whistle. Uh, it doesn't seem to say that the pearlizing does anything special for my skin other than pearlizing. Uh, what is this other one? Uh, isopropyl meristate, IPM. Clear, colorless, odorless, synthetic oil, emollient, ease of absorption, high spreadability. So a lot of these uh, words, chemical compounds that we can't pronounce are pretty common in skincare products and each serves a different purpose for making it uh, 
easier to spread on your skin, helping it stay on your skin, all of those kinds of things. And when you're using some, something therapeutically, you absolutely want it to stay on your skin as much as possible and absorb. So not just stay on your skin, but absorb. Isopropyl, okay, uh, spec, Spectrostat, uh, self-preserving formula so it's for, as a preservative. Fi phenostat, another preservative. All right, so preservatives, yeah. Uh, some of these products do not have preservatives. You do notice after some time passes, they do change a bit. I don't think they become dangerous. I think they just become a little less effective. The smell might alter a bit, so it doesn't have that same smell. Ah, Lana was asking which one I found most effective on my arthritis. So here's the other thing I want to tell you about this one. So this is kind of an answer to Lana and kind of also addressing the experience, I found the cream to be numbing, which is odd because not a single other topical I've tried, a CBD topical has ever been numbing. But that was the sensation I was getting from it, it was numbing. And so it, 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 it wasn't something that I personally preferred, but I thought to myself, people who have skin irritations or even nerve irritations where there's that pain and that burning on the surface of the skin, this is probably going to be really effective because it, it numbs. Sometimes when I put a little bit on my neck, I feel my fingertips are numbing. It's odd. It's, it's different, but it could be really effective for people. This is not my go-to for my neck arthritis, although it does seem to be pretty strong, the, the cream much stronger than the lotion. So uh, to go back to my two go-to products uh, personally on an, an as needed and sometimes daily basis when my arthritis is really acting up, the Stratus and Circle Labs. Uh, the Stratus is called a salve, the Circle Lab is called a balm. So those are the two personally for arthritis, specifically arthritis in my neck, are my two go-to. This is not all though, I still have a few more left. So uh, let me continue. Oh, okay, the next one is Baskin Essentials. So I've tried different iterations of the Baskin products and they have some kind of technology, skincare patented stuff, or they did have, I believe they still have it, that here, let me show you, Baskin. They might be redoing their packaging or this might be the redone packaging. Uh, I'm forgetting, but Baskin, just remember Baskin. The technology helps it stay on your skin to give it more time to absorb. That's how the company had explained it to me when I had their previous version of their product, the Baskin. And both of these products are that super satisfying pump which I really do like this as a dispenser pump. The larger one is 400 milligrams of CBD in this larger container. The smaller one, 90 milligrams of uh, CBD. The smaller one calls themselves skin relief cream, which makes sense. Typically with a lower amount of CBD, it can be more effective on the surface of your skin. Uh, to reduce inflammation. And it, I was wondering if it could be good for acne. I'm not breaking out. Uh, I could try it on my teens to see. Uh, but something like that affecting the surface of the skin because of the lesser amount uh, would make sense. Then the one with the higher amount uh, it does not say pain relief, but I would assume that it could have a little bit more therapeutic benefit a little bit deeper into the skin. Again, I really do like uh, the dispensers, and I like the idea of it staying on the skin longer. Smelling, I'm smelling, I'm smelling. Again, I'm probably smelling everything else. So let me read to you what the ingredients are. Oh, my hands feel amazing right now. All right, uh, Baskin. Deionized water, which is why they are lotions or creams. Um, a lot of things I can't pronounce. Uh, yeah, hexadecene copolymer, aoc something copolymer, sorbiton, monolore, polloxamer, on and on and on, and then it gets to limonene, 
a terpene, which I explained could be mood uplifting. It could also help absorption into a little bit more deeply under the dermis layer, skin layers. CBD comes a little bit later, but it's broad spectrum hemp extract. Vitamin E, which is known to be used on skin. And okay, so caprylic, capric, goodness, triglycerides are a specific fraction of coconut or palm oil fatty acid. And that other one, sorbiton monolaurate, is an emulsifier. Um, so again, it's up to you, your personal preference in terms of ingredients. A lot of these ingredients are common to skincare products. Uh, some people may be allergic to some, some may not. Some studies say that certain types of these kinds of ingredients are more toxic. It's really up to you what you are most comfortable with. I do like the texture of both of these. Uh, I do think that there's a place for these products, absolutely. The thing I really, really like about Baskin, they've got a QR code on their website that then leads you to their COA. I mentioned this earlier, COA, Certificate of Analysis, very, very helpful. Not every CBD company will get a COA. It's a third party review of a test result. So they test it. it does it have the amount of CBD that it claims to have? Does it is it free from pesticides? Is it uh, free from mold? Because the hemp plant is a phyto extractor, so it can extract a lot of heavy metals and other kinds of contaminants from the soil. So you really want to make sure your hemp is pure, clean, before you start to extract stuff out of it and put it into skincare products. So I like the fact that they pay the extra money, have the COA there readily available. It was kind of neat that they have the QR code. So you could just go to the product batch test results. And what was interesting about these products is the terpene profile. The fact that it is a broad spectrum, that means it has more cannabinoids and terpenes. The terpenes in these products include limonene. I keep mentioning limonene. It really is a good product to have on a uh, with a topical, unless of course you're allergic to that. But it is from citrus. Um, now here's one: uh, guayal. Guayal. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and can be used as an insect repellent. Hmm. It's a terpene that even I've written a, a lot about terpenes, including in our book, we wrote a, a lot about terpenes, but that's not one that I ever came across, although I do know it is in cannabis as well. Uh, myrcene, okay, it also contains myrcene. So terpenes, when you're talking about hemp products, hemp CBD products, it's kind of nice to have terpenes. Uh, Baskin Essentials. All right, how many more do I have? I think I have two more. Thanks for sticking with me, everybody. Uh, this has been quite a project here. Okay, targeted topical from Receptra. This is old packaging, by the way. This is an older product that I had received a while ago. I just happened to have it here. And I know that they've rebranded. They have a whole new package. They may have also reformulated a little bit. This is a 400 milligram targeted topical with shea butter, Shoria butter, coconut oil, mango butter, beeswax, and herbs such as jojoba oil, camphor, arnica, jasmine, yelling, 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 yelling. I think that's how you pronounce it. This one is so different in smell than the, the other ones. So the other ones I, I noted citrus or lemony, some of them a little pepperminty, some of them tropical fruity. This is incredibly floral. It's got to be the jasmine. Um, yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's got a great smell to it. And it's, it's nice. It's, it's a little bit waxier uh, than some of the others, which is okay. Uh, usually the wax then melts to the warmth of your touch. Um, the, at the camphor, which is interesting. I don't smell a lot of camphor in it, which is good because camphor is kind of like a intense smell, but the camphor is supposed to help increase absorption. So uh, this is a nice go-to targeted. Yeah, the wax also helps on the targeted front too, I think. 
uh, again, this is the old packaging. When you go to their website, Receptra, it's Naturals, I think, Receptra, Receptra Naturals. When you go to their website, uh, you'll see a completely different packaging. It is white and yellow, the new branding packaging. Um, and I believe the new formulation contains Arnica. I, oh yeah, this one does too. So Arnica, again, Arnica homeopathy, a homeopathic remedy that helps with uh, bruising and also helps with anti-inflammatory. So it helps with inflammation. Honestly, I use Arnica on bruises. If I hit myself, you know, clumsy and start to bruise, then I bruise very, very easily. Arnica can be very effective. Okay, Receptra. And finally, we are at the end of our exploration of CBD topicals. I hope this has proven helpful. Here's our last one that I'm reviewing. It is hemp fusions, 45 milligrams CBD hemp extract balm. Okay. So what's interesting about this product is hemp fusion, the company that produces this product, produces a lot of more food or or additive or ingestible kinds of products. I, I knew them, they uh, sent us some products to try their additives to your beverage. Um, so they have different divisions obviously, but I was thinking of them as a food company. So when I saw that they had skincare, I thought, well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, because if you think about it, your skin being the biggest organ on your whole body, you're kind of consuming through your skin, right? Anyway, that's how I thought. Peppermint tea. That's the thing. That's the thing I smell the most immediately, peppermint tea. The texture, it was interesting. So here's the thing when you have skincare products and if they've been sitting around, if they have been in hot temperature, then cold temperature, you know, you always read the label and it says, you'll keep in a cool, dry place. The texture is kind of... Um, rough it's like a wax but it seems like some of the things inside of it have solidified it's it's a natural process uh, of some skincare products none of the others have done that but this one did seem to be different in that regard it's a little waxy and then of course with the warmth of your skin it all just becomes more emollient is that the word not creamy very pepperminty. <laughs> so peppermint is also very uplifting. So when you smell that, you're like, ooh, it's like caffeine for your nose. <laughs> if that makes sense, or for your brain. Um, this one has some other terpenes, uh, which it doesn't really list a lot of them, but it does mention uh, beta caryophylline. Beta caryophylline. That's the one that I can never pronounce quickly. Beta caryophylline. Uh, which is a help, a very helpful terpene. I write about it in my book and I forgot to make a note about what it's good for, but I'm assuming it could be good for anti-inflammatory. Jojoba oil, sunflower oil, peppermint oil, rosemary, organic coconut oil, carnauba or wax. So it's got some other things in there as well. Uh, different fruit oils, clove. It's got a lot of ingredients. And I would say with 45 milligrams of CBD and 45 milligrams of terpenes, which is interesting, but 45 milligrams of CBD in this jar, it doesn't, mentally to me, I'm thinking, it doesn't seem like very much. The terpenes though, interesting. A lot of these do not really call out their terpenes. So I found that to be quite interesting. Uh, it's nice. I have to confess, this is how I use it. So I get the really cracked heels on the bottom of some of my feet. This makes a fantastic foot rub. The peppermint oil, the, the, the feel of it. And then I put it on the skin and it, it really seems to help. So it does seem to have some sort of relief or healing bit, but it just, it, I wouldn't necessarily think of it as something for my arthritis pain. And again, back to sort of finishing all of this off. Oh, well, let me just say it one more time. Hemp fusion, CBD extract. And I think it was a balm. It's a balm. Okay. Back to one more time, the ones that I use. 
Uh, and again, personal opinion, personal preference, that goes for everything from the ingredients contained within, the way that it smells and feels, the type of uh, dispenser or container it's in. A lot of this boils down to personal preference. But my two favorites are Circle Labs and the Strato Soothe CBD, both 500 milligrams, both in jars. These, this is what I use on my neck. My favorite go-to anytime is Vital Leaf. I love Vital Leaf. I just want to eat all of their products, even the ones that aren't meant to be eaten. They're that delicious in terms of the ingredients and everything about them. I also have to say, I was surprised. I didn't know how I would feel about a product like this, hemp silk. Uh, but for an everyday kind of lotion, even though it says 700 milligrams, I just, I like it. And again, with a little bit of arthritis coming in my fingers, it kind of gives me some comfort. I'm not sure if it relieves pain yet. It seems like it would with that much concentration of CBD, but uh, it's really nice. It's really pleasant. I can't say a bad thing about any of these. If I, if I thought it, any of these products were awful, I would not even bother to review them. But you probably get a sense of which ones I, I, I personally am gravitating towards. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I, I really enjoyed doing this. It's a little challenging, again, for anyone who's wondering why I keep looking up and down and holding things back and forth. It's because I currently have two cameras at different heights. One, because I'm doing my live on Zoom. Hi, everyone who's hanging out. And one, because I'm doing live on Instagram. Hi, everybody who's hanging out there. I appreciate you sticking with me. There will be recordings saved afterwards. Go to elementa.com slash join if you haven't already registered for this particular uh, session. And sign up for free because in about a week, I'll send a link to all the recordings of all of our sessions so far. Go to elementa.com slash events and you'll see what upcoming events we have. Every Wednesday and Sunday, I am meeting with authors and experts, doctors, scientists, sexologists, therapists, to talk about different wellness topics. Elementa did start out as a women's wellness network to learn about cannabis and CBD. I am expanding all of that to be about general health and wellness from a woman's point of view, from an older woman's point of view, from an older mom's point of view, kind of from my point of view. <laughs> so thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for hanging out on this little experimental session. I, I do believe CBD topicals can be very useful as both a surface relief and a little bit deeper pain relief. I also firmly believe that if you have serious pain that you might want to consider taking a using a topical on the localized pain and also taking something ingestible to help reduce inflammation to nourish your endocannabinoid system it's not just about the surface it really is about your full system head to toe inside out so I would never just say, oh yeah, this topical is gonna cure everything. Or even CBD will cure everything, not true. What I will say is just be careful when you go out to buy these CBD products that you're not buying into a product that is something else and they just put that CBD in to sound good, that they're truly trying to create something therapeutically beneficial or utilize the CBD in a way that is going to help you. That's my tip or set of tips for today. Thanks again for being here. I'm Aliza Sherman, CEO of Elementa, and I'll see you next time.